also lonely on local 10 uh, update on an unruly passenger you may remember this video when the flight attendants had to actually duct tape this guy to a seat on board a frontier airlines flight into miami today that man was sentenced in court and local 10 news reporter annalise garcia was at that hearing and annalise i know you have the exclusive interview with a flight attendant who had to restrain that passenger yeah, Christy Janice, 60 days in jail, followed by one year of supervised release. That's what Maxwell Berry, the young man who was sentenced today, that's what he received. Now, we did speak to the flight attendant who was directly involved. One of the three, you're about to hear his side of the story. My number one role on any aircraft is to uh, protect the passengers, including Maxwell Berry, who, uh, who we did get to Miami safely that day. Frontier flight attendant Jordan Galarza telling us his side of what happened on flight 229 from Philadelphia to Miami in August of 2021. This video made its rounds on social media at the time. You're seeing 22-year-old Maxwell Berry restrained with tape by several flight attendants, including Galarza. They took matters into their own hands after Barry became unhinged. So you can say the duct tape might have looked a bit barbaric. You can contend maybe we went a little too overboard. However, it worked perfectly and no one got hurt because of how we did what we did. I According to a Miami-Dade police report, after several drinks, Barry got handsy with flight attendants. The report says, quote, he began to get friendly with a second flight attendant where he proceeded to grope her breasts. He later threw a punch at Galarza. He made an enemy out of everyone on that aircraft. And pe the people on that aircraft saw justice happen. That's more justice than we saw in the court today. Barry was arrested at the airport after the incident. Now he's pled guilty to three assault charges. Tuesday morning, Barry was sentenced to 60 days in jail, followed by one year of supervised release. Barry has no criminal background. He spoke in court Tuesday. He took full responsibility for his actions and apologized. Mr. Barry is looking forward to putting this um, incident behind him. Galarza tells us he and his colleagues think Barry should have gotten a harsher sentence. I think it's a disgusting miscarriage of justice, uh, in my opinion. Now, at the time that these videos were viral or circulating, there were also tweets going around that appeared to be with Maxwell Barry's name. Now, they did clarify today in court that that was someone else using his identity. Now, the next steps for Barry is he needs to turn himself in by August 1st. I'm live in Miami, Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.